Hello and welcome to another Illustrator CC tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can edit your text and make it transform into something like this. Now at the minute I have to admit that this text here was actually scanned in and then image traced and that makes it a lot easier for me. But if you don't know how to do any hand lettering then I'm going to show you how to get this effect right within Illustrator. This one here was actually uh, not drawn in, it was actually done no, it was drawn in, but it wasn't like this. I had to edit this quite substantially to get like this. But I'm going to be showing you how you can edit your text so it will transform into these weirdly cool vintage shapes. So I'm going to go to my new document over here, which is just an A4 and landscape. And I'm just going to bring out some text of whatever. And I'm going to use a font called Abraham, uh, which is my favorite. I'm going to call this one uh, type, or if I can spell, typography. It's this new microphone. Here we go. Now that I've brought this out, I'm going to change the font over here. I'm not used to doing this because I'm always about the hand lettering, but um, here you go. Um, if I can spell Abraham as well, I'll get this in. I'm going to change the, um, the case of this to uppercase, and I'm going to bring this out. The next thing we need to do is once you've brought your font out, which it could be any font, but I like using this one. This one is sort of like a really standard uh, slab serif font, so there you go. I'm going to go ahead and make these into outlines and you can do that by pressing command shift and O and then I'm going to go ahead and just align these to the centers using the align tools over at the right here or you can go up to the top and go to window and align. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and warp this. Now I didn't have to actually outline this to warp it but I'm going to show you that you can do this with any shape whatsoever in Illustrator. All you need to do is make sure that you've got your shape highlighted, go over to object, and go down to this thing called Envelope Distort and go to Make with Warp. And the actual hotkey for this is ridiculously long, but it's Option or Alt, Shift, Command or Control, W. And you'll get this Warp Options thing. Now, this is basically Warp, and it's pretty cool. It's a pretty crazy Warp thing. I'm going to show you how to use it. So here we've got different styles. This is the arc that we're on at the minute, and you can change the bend or the amount of bend and the direction of the bend. And you can even change the horizontal and vertical distortion of it. So basically all we're doing is actually distorting uh, the text here that we're using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to arc lower. Now this is meant to go down further down. And you can have it like this if you want. But if you bring it up, it will actually edit the inside of it. So it will be poking inside. And that's going to squish them on the inside. And on the outside, it's going to be bringing these further down and leaving them straight which is a really, really classic look once we finish it up. So I'm going to do it to about, let's say over here, I'm just going to start this off about minus 18, there we go. I'm going to press OK. Now what we're left with is this warp mesh sort of thing. So at the minute we're in something called envelope warp. And what we need to do is we need to edit the points here, which is basically like an envelope. We've just shoved the shape into an envelope and we can distort it and then we can expand it afterwards. So if we wanted to change the text or what we've got here, we go up to the top left here and we go to edit contents and it'll bring us the contents while still showing us the warp. And then we go back up to here, we can go to edit envelope. So what I'm going to do is get my direct selection tool by pressing A, or you can go over to the direct selection tool up here. I'm going to highlight this little point here because this is a point, and this is a point, and this is a point. And you can see that you can absolutely go mental with this and warp everything. I'm just going to undo all that because I just ruined it there. But I'm going to highlight this point here and hold shift and highlight this one. Now holding shift and using the down arrow key, I'm just going to bring these down like so. So they're both in line with each other. And then I'm going to play with these two points here. There should only be like a couple of points for you to play with. I'm going to bring these further up, see how that looks. Don't like it. Bring this further down. And we can have like our typography text looking like this. Now, this is all well and good. Now we've finished the actual shape of it. What do we do next? Well, I always encourage you to copy this over by pressing Alt and then dragging it. And then with this highlighted, Go up to object and expand and then just press OK for the object and the fill expand. And there we go. We've got our shape. It's an actual shape now, which is pretty crazy. So you can actually get hand lettering looks with an illustrator very easily. The reason why I kept this one in its envelope is in case I decided, oh, actually, I want to change this a tiny bit more. What can I do? Well, if I wanted to change it with the actual settings, I could highlight this, go up to the top of here, and we've got all these arc lowers again up here. We can change the bend over here 
and the distortion over here and whatever. But we have more control over it this way and it's less destructive. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped. Let me see your creations over on my Facebook page, which is linked somewhere in the description. You can follow me on Instagram or check out my website. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.